The IRS has begun releasing the third round of stimulus checks and many Houstonians are already seeing the money in their bank accounts. But there is one group of our neighbors that one local advocate is concerned they may not receive it. Well, I know that the homeless have been able to obtain the, the first and second round of stimulus payments. However, I'm starting to hear rumors that, um, that some of our homeless are unable to access uh, the ability to, to file for a stimulus or to obtain their stimulus altogether. Uh, some who got maybe the first and second round are not getting the third round. Um, so that's why we've been out here trying to like survey who has been getting the stimulus and who has not. Now, what I'm finding is that a large majority of our homeless population have not gotten the stimulus uh, yet. And those are the questions that we need to be asking is why this is not. According to the IRS, people experiencing homelessness may be eligible for the economic impact payment. Some of the qualifications are you must be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or qualifying resident, have a work-eligible social security number, and cannot be claimed as a dependent of another taxpayer. Now, even though Uncle Sam outlined those points, the problem is most just don't have the means to get to the website. I'm very uh, passionate about them being very careful uh, because we do know that there was a local attorney last year who took advantage of a lot of our homeless here in the downtown region, charged them upwards of $300 to get the stimulus, and then they came to get their stimulus check or the remaining balance, and the guy had the door shut and locked and took off. Now, Doris says the need for our homeless population to receive that third stimulus payment is very important because it could allow them to have a night stay in the hotel room just to have something we all take for granted, a shower. For KTSU 2 News, I'm Jonah Baker.